In this video, we will look at a shoulder video fluoroscopy to examine the arthrokinematics of the glenohumeral joint. Here we have the glenohumeral joint and the shoulder girdle with internal rotation and with external rotation. With internal rotation, there's an anterior roll and a counteracting posterior slide. With external rotation, there's a posterior roll and a counteracting anterior slide of the humeral head on the glenoid fossa. The counteracting slide keeps the humeral head centered in the glenoid fossa. Again, external rotation and internal rotation. With shoulder abduction, there's a superior roll and a counteracting inferior slide. With shoulder adduction, there's a inferior roll and a counteracting superior slide. Notice the greater tubercle slides all the way underneath the acromion process. If that inferior slide did not occur with shoulder abduction, that greater tubercle and the supraspinatus tendon that's attached to it would run right into the acromion process, creating an impingement syndrome. Here we have shoulder girdle elevation and depression. Notice the amount of movement that is required at the sternoclavicular and acromioclavicular joints for shoulder girdle elevation and depression. And then we have shoulder girdle protraction and retraction. Again, notice the amount of movement that's required at the sternoclavicular and acromioclavicular joints for the shoulder girdle movements.